Hi everyone, it's Trisha. Thank you so much for joining me here. The following is an excerpt from a Facebook Live event, so I hope you enjoy it. So, hi everyone. Hello, it's Trisha. Anyone who's new, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Trisha. And um, I just wanted to share this message because um, it came to me first on my own. Spirit was working with me on it. And then it came two more times subsequently. They were both actually with clients. And actually maybe in one more time I think it came with just a friend. And so when it happens multiple times, I know that it's something that is probably good to share and that maybe actually a lot of other people are going through right now. And so this is about... Um, it's about manifesting, but it's, this is what's interesting is that um, when we are waiting for our desires to come to fruition, a lot of us here are uh, really trying to have an entrepreneurial type of career and, um, hi Chris, um, and have, um, you know, uh, in, just or just manifest a career or abundance or whatever it is, sort of that material stuff. But here's the thing that's interesting that came up is um, if you asked right now, if you asked yourself, if I had all of the resources and opportunities endlessly, do I know exactly what I want? And so there's a chance that you have maybe none of that answer, maybe a, a whiff of that answer, and maybe you don't, maybe you, and maybe you do have a lot of it and great, but this is still something to pay attention to because it's always something that we're, this is a, a living kind of document. It's a, it's a moving, it's always changing. So here's the deal that came up. So with the clients, um, one client said she asked herself that and um, she didn't have the answer and she was very frustrated with herself. So here's the thing, don't be frustrated with yourself. If you don't have the answer to the question, if I had all of the resources and all of the opportunities, what do I want to be doing? Or what do I want to receive? Or what do I want to have in my life? It could be, this could be applied to anything. So if you're hoping to have your, um, your partner, your, a love relationship, same thing. Um, now, don't be frustrated with yourself. What, and, and with another person that this came up with, I said, basically, it's like sitting in a restaurant and you, then you just like flag down a waiter and you say, where's my food? And the waiter's like, dude, you didn't even order. So <laughs> you need to place your order with the, with the restaurant of the universe. And, and the process is, I think we either get frustrated with ourselves if we don't have that. And so don't be frustrated with yourself because this is always, every single day, something that we're doing is we're asking ourselves this question. Hello, big old truck. Thank you for joining us. You're a beautiful blue color like Michael. Um, so um, Archangel Michael I was referring to. So this is the process. Really do this metaphor of ordering in a restaurant is fantastic. And um, the next step where I think sometimes we get hung up on is when we are looking at the menu, when we're trying to make our decision, when we do ask the question, then sometimes we get a little panicked or frustrated. Panicked because we may think, oh no, I don't want to start thinking about or pay paying attention to the wrong thing because I'm not sure yet. And um, so I don't want to accidentally manifest the incorrect desire. Don't worry about that because there is plenty of grace in between. Like, you know, what a grace period is, is, you know, it's time to pay your rent is due on the first, but it, you don't really, it doesn't have to show up until the fifth. There's that grace period and you have grace when you're setting your intentions as well. The metaphor of looking at a restaurant, I'm, I'm, my guides show me, is so perfect. You're sitting in a restaurant, you're looking at the menu, and you can just relax. You can virtually experience all of the dishes on the menu, and you don't have to worry that the waiter's going to come and just because you looked at the spaghetti and he's going to put spaghetti in front of you. The universe knows when you're ready to place your order, and that you will really, when you're doing it very consciously, then you're going to very consciously place your order. The placing of the order here is setting your intentions. Now, um, when we're looking at the menu, that metaphor, metaphoric menu, play with it, have fun, play make-believe like a little tiny kid and don't judge any of the experiences at that time. Having fun is actually what is going to um, help you to relax and it's going to help you to connect with those real desires. So, for example, you sit down, you ask yourself, what if you clear your mind and you're in a nice space? And you ask yourself, what would I do if I had all of the resources and all of the opportunities? Um, 
if your first thought is, I want to sprout wings like a bird and start flying, don't judge that and push that away. Go with it because you know what? That could be an experience that your being knows that you should have this little play, this make believe time, like when you're a little kid, of flying around with these magical feathers that you grew. Because just imagine what emotions, if you really commit and let that wonderful experience take you away, then you're going to start to connect with freedom, play, excitement, exhilaration, bliss, empowerment, all of those emotions you're going to really connect with and those emotions will actually go down into the depths of your being and magnetize the desires, the details of your desires that may be something very, that will be something very specific eventually. And in the meantime, it's really fun to imagine playing around and flying around like a birdie and it's actually on the other side, on the sp kind of technical spiritual side, it's really good exercise for your extra senses, whether that, you know, you're very visual, then that's going to work very much on your third eye kind of, um, you know, exercise. It's all, it could be good for your clairsentience, um, good for your claircognizance, all of that kind of, of stuff as well. So play with it. Have so much fun. My goodness, we did so much right when we were little kids. Playing make-believe is a wonderful way to um, manifest to it's a, along the path of manifesting, but also just to strengthen your spiritual skills. I promise you, because you relax so much. Um, let's see. I had another example or thought. And... So yeah, look at that menu. Don't be frustrated with yourself if you don't have the answers because the answers are always going to change. And each little thing that you that you kind of pull out and you say, well, this piece of it I really want. This piece of it is really showing up. Just think of that. Don't, don't, the, this, this is the other part. Don't look at that piece and say, well, I have this piece and it looks like this and I have this piece and it looks like that. But nobody else does that in the world. That's not possible. Let's say it's a career. Nobody has a career doing that. No one can make money doing that. That's not what anyone does. Let go of that because you are your own unique fingerprint. You are your own unique flower and don't let go of those details. And all of those pieces, they're, if you look at one puzzle piece, it doesn't make sense on its own anyway. And whatever desires are in your heart, they're valid and it is very much like the flowers growing. Whatever design is in the makeup of that flower, the colors and the aroma it's meant to be, it's going to be specific and it's going to be different. And with spirit, we can do anything. So don't judge the little pieces that are filling in. And you don't have to worry about remembering them and hanging on to them. Just keep feeling into it. Your emotions, your feelings are actually what uh, make up your frequency. So as you start to have these feelings that just feel better and better, that's going to start honing in your desires. And let's see. I think that's about it on the practical side of it. Um, the main thing is this is this should be done all the time and embrace it really. You can even write it down as a one, two, three to ask, to look at the menu, and then place your order. Ask yourself, what do I want? If you don't have the answer, whatever pieces of the answer. And then, of course, relax and have your metaphoric glass of wine while your meal is coming to you. You know it's going to come. And you, you, you're not the actual chef. You, you've kind of co-created it by, by ordering it and imagining what it is. But guess what? The chef, the brilliant chef, which is source energy and all of the cooperative components of the universe, is going to bring you something that blows your mind. And so you can detach yourself from all of those details because the universe will be bringing you something that is beautiful and exciting and even better than you had imagined. So this we do every single day, all the time, and it's always going to be changing. And that's the exciting, beautiful part of the journey. That's all I have to say. All right. I love you guys so much. You're so powerful. We're all so powerful. I'm powerful. You're powerful. And I just want you to just own it all. Release guilt, release frustration, release expectations from the outside, and just move forward and know that you are your own oracle. Your heart is your, is, is your oracle. Okay? I love you. Talk to you later.